Hello and welcome to MATLAB Tricks. Sometimes you hear that uh, Google they can predict everything because they need what people they see what people search for and uh, out of that they can predict all sorts of things. So I thought we could uh, compare the trend volumes for bitcoins historically the last five years and see how that relates to Bitcoin price. So that could be fun. This could be a fun exercise. So what you can see here is the search volume for the term Bitcoin on YouTube, uh, sorry, on, on Google the last five years. Um, and you might suspect that these are somehow related to price movement. But anyway, we will you know, this is just a chart and how can we compare the Bitcoin price there? There is no such an option. But what we want is the data behind this chart, so to say. We want the search volume for every day here. But Google will not provide us with that. We will only get this chart. What we will do now is to import this into MATLAB. And just plot it first. Hope you see it. And uh, then I have a handy script here, which will actually, with a little bit help of image processing and some tricks and stuff, I will figure out where these lines are at for every day, the last five years, roughly. If you want to know exactly how this was made, I will have I have an earlier video on that, so I won't go through that. Now, click this away, and I run this section, and. Now MATLAB have uh, have uh, identified where the line were at in the last image you saw and plotted that again. So now we can start to compare that with Bitcoin price. So the Bitcoin price is uh, no problem to find historical data for. For instance, you can go in at Bitcoin chart and they will supply you with some raw data here. So, so. When we've done that, we just plotted this together with the search volume. And uh, look what we got. There's clearly a strong relationship between those two. Every price spike is uh, followed by, I suppose, a Google search volume. And if it's the other way around, it's pretty extraordinarily, <laughs> you know, that people start to search for it and then the price go up, then it would be extremely useful. Uh, but maybe that's a little bit optimistic to believe that. I think generally maybe the volatility would be another thing which correlates strongly with uh, the search volume. So a big moment in price would lead to a larger interest. But the one, two, one, two, three, four, huge price spikes we have here are strongly related to us increasing price. So, but if we want to try to predict something here very optimistically, maybe we can look at, you know, the last week or the last month, how the search volume have changed. And then we can see how the price will change after that. So if we find that kind of relationship, that would be really useful though i wouldn't be too optimistic but <laughs> that's what i i already see the answer but i i that's what we did here and i used 30 days actually as a as a lag so and we plot then that in a scatter plot like that so here you can see the change in search and on the y-axis we have the change in price so Mostly there is like a cloud here and there is too big. Yeah, there is some kind of correlation, but it's pretty weak. We could actually, if I, oh, that was ugly. Can you see that? And I can change this period here, maybe to a week or less. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's not good. Okay, okay. Don't put too much trust in this. 
but it was a funny exercise. You see, this is probably related to one big uh, rally. So that was cool, um, but uh, something even simpler we can do, I think very useful, is to compare it with something else. So we can like, because you know, when you are at YouTube, you will get recommendations about something you already know a lot about. So you would think that everyone knows about this, you know, everyone is into Bitcoin. If Because if you see this video, you're probably already interested in it, right? So, however, if we can relate it to something completely different, we can get maybe, that could be, that could be useful. So if you compare here with, uh, I thought Justin would be a good example. This Yes, and you can see that it's uh, just become as popular as Justin Bieber. So, Bitcoin. So, what does that tell us, really? You know, I think it tells us that most people know who Justin Bieber is, but most people don't listen to him, right? It's something that some young girls do, or I don't know. But, like, and probably we are there with... Uh, Bitcoin. Most people know what it is, but you know they don't. Really, they are not really into it. So, if we would, okay. So, I have no idea where Bitcoin will go. Yeah, so I don't claim to do any prediction. However, we can know for sure that everyone is not into Bitcoin. I will tell you what everyone is into, <laughs> what everyone's searching for or doing, or you know. If Bitcoin look like if this will become comparable or I wonder if I can really Google on this <laughs> or you know this is something everyone know what it is everyone is you know into it okay.